Hi, my name is Lucas and I'm the co-founder and CEO of WidgetBook. I'm super excited to welcome you to WidgetBook Cloud today. With WidgetBook Cloud, you can simplify the review processes with your entire product team, meaning with designers, developers, product managers, QA testers, basically anyone involved in product development. If you haven't used our open source package yet, I highly recommend you to check out the dedicated demo video on just our open source package because this video is going to be focused on WidgetBook Cloud only. And with that, let's jump straight into the product. First things first, with WidgetBook Cloud, you can host a dedicated WidgetBook Cloud build for each and every commit that you publish to your repository. So right now what we can see here is that our developer Yusef published a new commit to the repository and by clicking on the GitHub check here, we can check it out in WidgetBook Cloud. And we can then click on visit in WidgetBook Cloud and thereby see the WidgetBook published live here in WidgetBook Cloud. As I mentioned, I will not go into detail regarding the open source package here, but this WidgetBook build already helps you to simplify reviews because what you can already do is you can easily share it with non-developers, make it accessible for them very easily, each and every widget in all the different configurations, and they can then even interact with it, change the add-ons and knobs, basically anything that you already know from the open source package. But with WidgetBook Cloud, we wanted to take reviews to a new level. Let's learn about it from an example. Our developer Jens made a change. And with GitHub, it's already possible for us to easily do code reviews. So we can create pull requests. And in this case here, Jens made a change. So Jens wanted to fix our primary button and the app bar use case. So we can go into our changed files here. And by focusing, for example, on the primary button, we can very well see as a developer what change Jens wanted to do. So apparently the button was too edgy for Jens. So he wanted to change the border radius from zero to something more round. And he went full extreme <laughs> and therefore um, selected that he wants to have uh, the full radius here. So he wanted to make it really round. And for us as developers, it's first of all quite challenging to even know if I make the change to the primary button on, let's say, screen A, where other screens affect as well. And do I actually want this change on all of those screens? Maybe something breaks. Actually, who knows? And then secondly, how do I verify that it matches well to the design? Wouldn't it be great to be able to include reviewers that are not developers, so people like designers, product managers, QA testers, um, and maybe even other people from product development in the development process very early. At this point in time, on the pull request basis, it's still quite easy for us as developers to make changes. Why don't we include those people right now? Those were the questions uh, that we tried to answer with WidgetBook Cloud, and yeah, let's check it out. So what we can actually do, we can go back to the conversation here in GitHub. And then by seeing our checks here below, we can click on details and open the widget book review in here. And by opening the review, what we see here is a list of all of our changes. And down here, we see exactly the change that we were expecting that Jens wanted to make. So Jens changed the kind of edgy primary button to something <laughs> a lot more around and that's quite that's quite easy to check here but if the screen gets a bit more complex like this one maybe something else changed here as well how can we be sure we can be sure with our highlight diff button so with this highlight diff button we can see highlighted in pink here what our changes were and here we can just say yeah Jens uh, good job um, this screen looks great let's go quickly to the other screen also looks great so to accelerate here a bit i think jens did quite a good job but what we can also do is we can check our changes even in more detail here so what we can see here is basically on the left side we see the old version of the code on the right side we see the new version of the code and we see it on a screenshot basis but what we can also do is we can inspect it 
and we can then even interact with the widgets because we can just navigate to widget book and here our widget in the specific use case is already pre-selected for us and we then have exactly the same feature set that we know from our local open source version but we now also have the chance to easily compare it with Figma. So usually our users have multiple screens set up. Unfortunately, I can only share one screen with you, so you've got to use your imagination uh, a bit. But you can imagine that it's quite easy for you to have one screen where you see the implementation in Flutter and the other screen uh, there you can open the implementation in Figma. No need to navigate through a Figma file anymore. You can just easily compare the both uh, design and development using WidgetBook Cloud. And that's exactly how you can simplify the review process with your entire team. I really hope you enjoyed this brief demo video of WidgetBook Cloud. And there's so much more to say, and we even have more videos on WidgetBook Cloud that you can check out. But first of all, I'd like to encourage you to try it yourself. I wish you a very smooth onboarding process. Please, if you have any point in time, have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We have a dedicated help page here where you can either join our Discord server and ask questions to either us as WidgetBook team. You can also ask our users here. You can at any point in time also schedule a call with me. I'm happy to give you a demo, happy to give you an onboarding, happy to just uh, brainstorm on whatever uh, ideas uh, you have on WidgetBook. We are always happy about feedback. You can also shoot me an email. Uh, you can also check out our docs where you can then onboard yourself. And with that, happy onboarding. Let's simplify your review processes together. I can't wait for your feedback.